uh, this and routine that we talked about before. Imagine. Oh, yeah. I, I remember right. imagine. imagine. So let's go over, Gabby, the whole uh -huh. routine together. Right. I, I call this a thinking routine. Why is it a thinking routine, Callum? Uh, because you're guessing how it's going to be. Estimating. You're guessing? Yeah, yeah estimating. What's the difference between a guess and an estimate, Callum? Uh, an estimate is like more. Oh, And why is it closer to the real thing? Why is an estimate closer to the real thing than just a guess? Because, like, who would like to read our problem of the day? Ooh. Red beans are worth one cent, blue beans are worth ten cents, and yellow beans are worth ten hundred cents. Stop right there. I want everyone to close their eyes. And get an image in your mind. I'm going to read it to you while your eyes are closed, Thomas, so you can get an image in your mind. Red beads are worth one cent. What would the label be for our answer? Really? Um, you could do cents or you could do dollars and cents. So our answer is going to be expressed either in cents, cinque, or in dollars, right? Because we're asking what is the total value of my beads. And as Billy just said, that means how much are they worth? So your answer is going to be expressed either in cents or dollars. Gabby, what do you notice? Well, well, well there's only two blue beads, but you owe him four blue beads. I have two blue beads, but I owe him four. How am I going to give him four beads? Um, How many red beads do I owe him You owe him five and you owe three. And I only have three. I see some mathematicians' minds are turning. I see some hands in the air that tell me the mathematicians are thinking about this problem. Put your hands down so that everyone can have an equal chance to think. You are going to solve this problem with a partner. And I want you to use, similar to Elias's image that he started with, use all of this space up here to draw and to make pictures that will help you to solve this problem. Questions? Maybe you can share your image, okay? so I don't your so let's, let's, let's try to use the color pencils to help us create that image. Well, plus. No, equals. No, because we have to write the name. So that's the same as the lines. So now, but, so let's look at the first question. What is the total value of my beads? So the total value, yeah, the, total, the total value of your beads is. These are pennies, and this is my dime. So right. Here are my pennies, here's my dime. Oh, I know what you do. Right. So if I had another no, blue, then I would have one. You want? Oh. And I had another blue, it would be. <laughs> no, it's all. And then this would be PY. 40. 40.
A great thing to learn. What else did you learn in this math lesson? Think it. I learned that me and my partner did a great, were a great team. <laughs> and your partner were a great team? Great. Mm -hmm. Yep. I learned that two brains are better than one. Two brains are better than one. Andrew. I learned that a lot of different ways of solving this problem. So there is more than one way to solve a problem. That's a great thing to learn, right? So if you get stuck sometime, Ryan, you might want to try a different way of solving a problem. There's not only one way. There's not only one way. Sometimes it is good to trade things. Sometimes it is good to trade yeah. things, right? 